Good morning everyone, Hillbilly Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning, recipes, a little bit of everything. We are continuing our Christmas cookie extravaganza and today we're going to make another one of my super favorites which is molasses cookies. This is a super easy, great recipe, something you can do very quick, so stay tuned. Let's get started on my delicious molasses cookies. Okay, first we have one cup of packed brown sugar. We have three quarter cups of shortening, a quarter cup of molasses, one egg, two and a quarter cups of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, not powder, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger, a half a teaspoon of ground cloves, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of granulated sugar that we're not going to use as part of our mix. I'll show you what to do. Super easy peasy, folks, right now. We have uh, in, our, in a large bowl, in our mixing bowl, we have our brown sugar, our shortening, our molasses, and our egg. And we're gonna beat this on uh, medium until well blended. Okay, the next step now is just to add our dry ingredients. That's it, so let's get going. Now I'm adding everything except the sugar. The sugar is going to be used last. And our cloves, here's our cinnamon. We've added our ginger. This is our baking soda, not baking powder. Our salt. And now we're going to start adding our flour. You ought to smell this dough. We'll kick it up a little bit, get it going here. Okay. We have our oven preheating on 325 degrees. And we are going to make about one and a half inch size balls. And we're going to roll them in the sugar here. And we're going to put them on the cookie sheet about one and a half inches apart. Oh, this dough is wonderful. Easy, easy to work with and it was easy to make. I love molasses cookies. I'm sure many people do. Again, this is something that we only see around Christmas time, even though they're available in the store, but it's not something that people make like chocolate chip cookies. And if you want to know how to make chocolate chip cookies, go back and look at my video. And if you want to know where uh, the Christmas cookies came from, go back and look at my video on uh, the Christmas cookie story. I think you'll find it quite interesting to know that cookies, um, Christmas cookies came about um, back in the early 1500s, but uh, not everybody could get the spices and the baking goods that they needed to make cookies except at Christmas time. And that's where Christmas cookies came from. Okay, I have them laid out on my cookie sheet. I'm gonna put them in a 325 degree oven for about 13 to 16 minutes. I am going to check them at 13 minutes. Um, this is an ungreased cookie sheet as well, so stay tuned. Okay, here they are. I did have to leave them in there for 15 minutes. It's very important that you get them off the cookie sheet very quickly onto a cooling rack, so I'm gonna do that right now. Here is the finished product, folks. My only regret with this recipe is that I didn't double it. If you decide to make these, I suggest that you do double up your recipe. This made a little over two dozen, and I am just stoked about them, and they turned out absolutely delicious. I'm gonna sit down and have mine with a glass of eggnog, and speaking of eggnog, if you want to learn how to make homemade eggnog, there is a channel called Kitchen Confidence. I suggest you go and look at his eggnog video. It looks really, really delicious, and I'm gonna make it myself this year. So if you like our video, please, uh, Click the like button and subscribe to our channel and pass this on to your friends and family. This is a great recipe for this time of year or any time of year. Take care, God bless, and have a very Merry Christmas.